flight check. Two, three, four, five, six. Circuit breakers, battery main chain, emergency chain, engines, gyros on, inverters one and two on, signal flares armed, four out, weapon arm switch up, weapon safety release flap switch, landing gear lever down, trim neutral, parking brake is set. Signal turner, two eight two eight, sound off. Two is two eight two eight. Three two eight two eight.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Virtual Vulture Jet Team performance at Burning Lake. The Vultures are flying the Czechoslovakian L-39C Albatross. This single-engine, tandem, two-seat training aircraft is used for light attack and flight training by over 30 air forces around the world. The Vultures are primarily a training squadron focusing their efforts on sharing the art of formation flying with any and all wishing to fly structured airshow style aerobatics. The Vultures are an open team and invite pilots from around the world to join us at their leisure. The Virtual Vultures are made up of pilots from the USA, Canada, Australia, Germany, Thailand and South Africa. Today, the Vulture demonstration will consist of maneuvers taught to all real-world military pilots only flown tighter and closer to the ground. From behind the crowd, the 2018 Virtual Vulture Jet Team enters the show in the Delta Formation. The solo pilots will drop out of the formation and perform a crossover break while the Diamond pulls into the vertical to perform the Clover Lag. From the left, Vulture 6 enters the show line and rolls his aircraft 90 degrees to the left, applying full right rudder to hold his altitude and show off the Vulture's signature wing stripes and team name. This is the Knife Edge Pass. From the right, Vulture 5 pulls up into a 12 degree arc and performs the sharp 8 point hesitation roll. The Diamond has transitioned into the trail formation behind Vulture 1. We will call Go Diamond as the wing pilot slides back into position and the slot pilot pushes up to complete the Trail to Diamond belly pass. Vulture 6 enters from the right at 350 knots, pitching up and cross-controlling his aircraft. Watch as he tumbles through the ballistic arc. Vulture 5 enters the line, rolling left and pulling hard into the high G360. Get your screenshots ready as the Diamond has closed up the formation to fly its tightest formation of the display, the Diamond Banana Pass and Review.
Now, Vulture 6 from behind the crowd will pull smoothly into the vertical, chopping his throttle and bleeding off all his airspeed, tail sliding backwards down into his smoke reversing direction. Meanwhile, Vulture 5 has slowed his aircraft to 175 knots with speed brakes out. Watch as he shows off the slow speed, high angle of attack performance of the L-39. As he pulls into the vertical, he will deploy full flaps at less than 900 feet, falling back down onto the line. This is the mini loop. To the left as the diamond performs its most difficult maneuver, a 30 degree per second left roll. There's zero room for error as the right wing pilot must add power while pulling around and the left wing pilot throttling back as he pushes forward and rolls under. This is the diamond roll. Show center showing off the slow speed handling of the L-39 as 5 blazes past in a demonstration of speed. has once again moved into trail formation. As they approach show center, the boss will pull 40 degrees into the vertical, transitioning back into the diamond while performing a slow barrel roll. This maneuver personifies the art of formation flying. This is the Trail to Diamond Log of Moon. Smoke on and roll slowly through 360 degrees of bank, applying smooth pressure to rudder and elevator, maintaining his altitude. This is the deceptively difficult slow roll. Following five, from the left, the diamond pulls into a 3G climb to 7,000 feet above the show line. Floating weightless, then pulling back into high G for the diamond loop.
the right, Vulture 6 pulls into the vertical, nosing forward then tumbling backwards in a series of inverted flat spins. This is the Scorpion. degrees to the right across the lake, the diamond back in trail formation pulls up into the vertical. Boss once again calling, go diamond, while performing a loop combined with a half barrel roll in the trail the diamond, clover Go diamond. From the left, our solos have come together, line abreast, pulling up in the vertical, they will simultaneously cross control their aircraft in a synchronized vertical jam. Left turn back. Across the bay at Show Center, watch the diamond as they pull up 90 degrees and go smoke on. Boss will then count 3, 2, 1, break, as the flight rolls and breaks to the four corners of the compass for the high bomb burst. Diamond will use cutoff angle and the fingertip reference line to rejoin in right tank trail formation. The L-39 lacks the power of larger fighter aircraft and cannot simply push the power into afterburner for the rejoin.
40. As the team flies out for its longest repositioning turn, the Vultures would like to thank the Virtual Aerobatics community for their continued support, as well as the Burning Lake staff for making this event possible. The Vultures fly with only two names painted on our canopy rails, that of Ralph D. Morgan and J.H. Blum, two members of the Real World Vulture Formation team. Ralph and Jay, gone west on July 10th, 2005 when they were tragically lost in a training accident while preparing for an air show. The Virtual Vultures dedicate their efforts to the memory of our lost friends, and we hope that our performance today helps them live on together in our hearts. Blue skies and tailwinds to our fallen friends. A little more flow. Six hands. Back right by the vortex break. Two, six, four, five, six. Uh oh. It's okay. the right, lead will bring the team directly in front of the crowd to perform the vortex break. The break is a 270 degree left roll into trail formation where the team will once again use cutoff angle and the fingertip reference line to rejoin to the delta formation. From your left, all six have rejoined into the Delta, our solo pilot's red smoke encapsulating the diamond's white smoke, together pulling back up into the vertical for the Delta loop.
together, the Delta will pass in front for one last display of the team name and signature wing stripes for the Delta Belly Pass. Finally, the Virtual Vultures would like to thank you for joining us on this beautiful afternoon at Burning Lake. We hope you've enjoyed watching the demonstration as much as we've enjoyed flying it. Now, look ahead across the lake for the twinkling wing tank lights. This last maneuver signifies the finale of the demonstration. Lead one last time calls smoke on, roll break for the Delta Burst. <laughs>